All right, hey guys, what's up? It's uh, 99, I'm back again, this time with a quick tip. We're gonna be doing a, uh, a sample stop. You can do this on any, any sampler. Um, you should be able to do it on any sampler. Today I'm gonna demonstrate how to do it on machine. Since machine doesn't actually have that built into it, it's something that um, I could have used a long time ago. I barely stumbled upon how to do this. It's been right under my nose forever. So just in case you're in the same boat, I'm gonna do a quick vid to show you how to do it. All right, so let's say you got, you get a long sample, right? Um, let's go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and, and pick one real quick. Okay, I'm gonna use that. Um, here it is, you hit the sample, I've got it on one shot. And you can't do anything about that, it, it doesn't stop. So if you hit play, uh, I didn't record anything, but if you hit it, like let's say the polyphony is all the way up to eight, and you hit it a bunch of times, because sometimes I do that because I'm retarded, so, you just got overlapping voices that doesn't stop, okay? So here's... Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do it. I had to wait for that garbage. That's what I'm talking about. I hate that. Okay, so I'm going to put you behind me real quick so you can see what I'm doing on the machine. Alright, let's go ahead and show you how to set up your, uh, your stop sample or your, your cancellation pad. Alright, so... I've got my long sample here, and what you want to do is you're going to set it to choke group one, okay? Or if you're on other hardware or software, you're going to want to set it to whatever group, whatever it's called, the, the choke groups or the, um, the sample groups. Um, so this one, I'm going to set it to choke group one, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick an empty pad. I'll pick number 16, right? And 16, you can't set it to a group yet because there's nothing on it. There's no sample loaded to it. So you can get, you can set up a file on your computer or, or whatnot. But what I do is I go into sample mode and just, I sample silence for like two seconds. Stop. And now I have a silent sample. Okay. And what I'm going to do is set that on the choke group number one. That way every time I hit that, it's going to cut off any one shot I got going, no matter how many voices are playing. So let's go ahead and do that. Bam. Done. That's, I, I needed that for so long. And now, I'm going to do that on every project. Alright, so there you have it. There was your, uh, your quick tip, your sample stop.